In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create an HTML table using Dreamweaver. This is a simple process. Think of it as an Excel sheet or a spreadsheet uh, for the internet. As a matter of fact, I have uh, attached the, some sample table data in comma-separated values. You may or may not be familiar with those. I'm going to start with the easier part. I do have an Excel sheet, and uh, even if you don't have Microsoft Excel, uh, don't worry about it. You'll be able to use the regular comma-separated values table. Let me download, first of all, the sample table data Excel just to show you what's going on. Right-clicking, saving the link as. I'm going to uh, put this in the appropriate folder. I keep everything in my OneDrive Central and my Web2. I'm going to create a new folder. You can do this in uh, Dreamweaver as well. Create the new folder inside your uh, server. And I'm going to call this one Week 10. Unfortunately, uh, alphabetically at least, the week 10 will come before week 3, so when you see this in Dreamweaver, don't be too confused if it's not in the right order. I'm going to open up week 10, and that's where TV listings going to go in. I'll follow that by opening the uh, Excel sheet. Here's Excel. And here we'll see a table in real life. This is what a table is. You have a uh, Basically, you have columns going uh, vertically. Column A, B, C, D, and E, a total of five columns. And then you have rows. These are the numbered ones. I don't have any uh, specific um, formatting on this table as uh, this is a header. Uh, you know, I could, I could actually make this bold. I could make it reverse. I could change colors. All kinds of things that I can do with Excel. I'm going to be able to do lots of things in a similar way using Dreamweaver. Well, that was just to show you this part. So I can close this now. I'm also going to download the uh, original one, the sample table data and comma separated values. And I'll save this link. And that's TV listing. This is a text document, so it'll be .txt. And now it's saved. I'm going to open up Dreamweaver and go into the assignment. Week 10 has already shown up, and as promised, it's on top as opposed to at the bottom. I'm going to exp uh, expand that. I have my TV listing .txt and my Excel sheet that I just downloaded. I'm going to then also create, inside of week 10, a, a new file. I'll go to File, New. Make sure it's HTML, the framework is none, it's HTML5, I'll create, and I have my blank file. Since this, uh, you saw a little bit of the table, you know, these are TV listings, basically I'm going to type in a uh, header TV listing, and then just a sample of uh, programming uh, of TV programming, television programming for tonight. This was the other night, so but don't worry about that. Inserting a table in Dreamweaver is as simple as clicking the table button. I'm having, I open my HTML tab. This is the one that I regularly have open. This is the insert menu that you would see over here if I were to uh, reset this so that everything looks the way it does uh, when you first open it. I first would get rid of the DOM. I'm just going to close that tab. I have my CSS designer, which we'll use a little bit. Uh, my files controller, which is where all the files are. And then there's the insert. Insert has a table button. I'm going to move this out of the way uh, to the top. You click and you drag. I've done that in other assignments before, so just so that you don't get lost when I'm, whenever I tell you this is where the table insert button is. You could have also gone to insert uh, menu above and just tell it to insert a table. The shortcut is control alt T. I'll go back here and insert a table. I uh, remember that I said that there were five columns in uh, total, so I'm going to change that number here to five. Rows, I don't remember how many shows there were, maybe a dozen. I'm just going to start with three. That's fine. Just start this example. Table width, currently set at uh, 700 pixels. That's okay. However, I'm going to change this to percent, and I'm going to say that I want it to cover 80% of the screen. 
border thickness. I'm gonna leave that at zero, and cell padding and space and cell spacing I will leave blank as well. I'll assign those later. I do want a header though. I want it at the top. You could have them on the, on the sides, on both the top and the sides, or you have none. Accessibility just just additional information uh, that you uh, can have for your uh, for your accessibility options in your page TV listings. I mean, it doesn't have to be very specific, at least for now. And I can just repeat that. A sample of TV programming for tonight. And I'll click OK. And now I have very similar to what we saw in Excel. We have uh, uh, created a, uh, a table. If we were to look at this in the code, all the code that I was talking about, all the stuff that you have to type in, uh, Dreamweaver's done for us. It has put in the uh, the table body, the uh, table uh, rows, that's a TR code, uh, and all the data that goes inside of it. And BSP is, of course, the uh, back, the, uh, the uh, space, I'm sorry. Um, it just puts in a little bit of space in there so that it has some content to it. You'll notice that all of the columns are the same width. However, if we were to start to type uh, some of this information, and I'll go back to the information that I downloaded in a little bit, but I'm going to start by typing this manually. I can say that I have show. I'm pressing tab to go to the next one. Episode, tab again, episode name. tab, airs app, and then network. These are my uh, column headings. You'll notice that the text is bold and it's centered because it's in a header since we requested a header. I could either navigate with the mouse to go to the next column or press tab again. That will just slide in to the, uh, first, uh, the first column in the next row. I'll type in the name of the show, The Flash, Press tab again, S02E16. Episode name is trajectory. Uh, airs at 8 p.m. And finally, this airs in the CW. You'll notice that the uh, columns have been shifting in size. They've been uh, basically accommodating the data as it's typed in. Um, you'll also notice that uh, there's little space in between the uh, the cells and that's just really for our benefit that it's showing us this uh, we asked for no uh, spacing we asked for uh, no padding so it's just trying to help us out saying hey you know this is a cell and this is where things go I'll put in maybe one more thing one more show here it's gonna be new girl uh, s02 episode 16 uh, it's called d-day it airs also at 8 p.m. and it's on Fox now, I only asked for an additional two rows, so if I want to add a uh, another row as I'm typing in this information, pressing tab will actually add that row automatically, and then I can just type in the next show without any problem. Uh, season 3, episode 13. No, that, yes, parting shot. It airs at 9 p.m. on ABC. And I could keep on pressing tab, etc. Now, if uh, I put in the wrong show, let's say that uh, I skip one. The next one is the voice, but I'm going to put in limitless. That airs uh, its 19th episode of its first season. And then uh, the name of the show is uh, A Dog's Breakfast. And uh, it airs at 10 p.m. and it airs on CBS. But actually, the next show was uh, the Marvels. No, no, not Marvels Agents of Shield, but actually the Voice. So what I could do is I could uh, select this row where I'm typing, and at the very edge of the row, if I click on that area, that look that automatically highlights the rest of the row. I can right click on the row and uh, request that in the table I insert a row. So now a new row has been added where I requested it and I have the space to type in the information that's missing. If you are a uh, an Excel user then uh, you know that uh, typing in uh, 
typing in uh, your forms, your tables, it's actually a lot easier to do in, probably in Excel for you. It is for me. <coughs> and uh, more likely than not, you know, you're going to be working with information that already exists. So, you know, this is just to show you, this is how you would create from scratch a table. Because obviously I already have all the information. I don't need to be typing this stuff in and making mistakes. And so uh, rather than continuing with this, let me just tell you a little bit about the table itself. You'll notice that we have information about the width of the table. It's at 80 percent going on across the uh, screen. It uh, only occupies that 80 percent. Uh, it's 792 pixels wide currently if uh, the uh, the screen were to change, then though that data would also change it with it as well. It's telling me that at 80%, whenever I shrunk the screen, it's actually 661 pixels. If this were to be really small and I can't really get it any closer than that currently, I'm going to leave it as it is. But if it could get closer, it would still try to occupy 80% of the screen. It's also currently on the left side. If you click on the uh, top tab of the table, you click like that, everything gets highlighted. Uh, you have basically selected the table. The properties then appear at the bottom for, uh, at least mine are at the bottom. If you don't see your properties, be sure that they're open. If you go to window, make sure that properties are turned on. Uh, it's telling me that I have already typed in six rows. That includes the uh, title at the top. Uh, that I have it at 80% width, that my alignment is the default, which means it's on the left side. If, if I wouldn't, I wanted to change that, I could click here and say center it, and then it would center it, and it would still occupy only 80% of the screen across. Uh, I don't have any classes right now. I have not assigned any CSS, and I still don't have any cell padding or cell spacing. Let me actually take care of that. I'm going to add some cell padding, and that's going to be the space uh, from the edge of the cell all the way to where the text actually shows up. So I can add cell padding of maybe five pixels. Pressing tab to go to the next thing, you'll see how this now gets a little bit aired out. It's floating inside. And cell space is actually going to be the space between each one of the cells. So I'm going to also request five pixels. That's going to be represented by the dotted lines all the way across the uh, table. I currently still don't have a border. Uh, I could select one of maybe one pixel and then that'll give us a little bit of representation here. Everything will be highlighted like that. I am not going to use a border just yet though. I'm going to change that back to blank. Meanwhile, my code is adding all of those uh, settings. It's telling me the width is, is at 80%. It's aligned to the center. The cell padding is 5. The cell spacing is 5. And it's even got the additional information that we told it to give us. I'll go back into design. And uh, now that we have this very basic uh, table set up, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to uh, format it a little bit better, how to add colors to the uh, columns, and most importantly, how to bring in all that data that somebody else typed in automatically without having to type it in yourself again.